Hi, my name is Andy W3321. I am a Breath Player 2 speedrunner and I do a tutorial on Terrapin Percent. Terrapin Percent is a new category that we're introducing to help uh, get new runners into the Breath Player uh, 2 speedrunning community. I'd say that anyone new to the run, and if you don't know much about the game, your first run's probably going to be closer to three hours. But the hit sub two would come really quick, and uh, even a sub one thirty, I would say, would also come quick. I have notes on the speedrun.com website. You're more than welcome to edit and do whatever you would wish with them. One thing about this game is the text is really slow, so you're always going to want to be holding B and mashing A. You want to talk to this lady, and that opens up uh, the bush back here. If the bush is not uh, waving in the wind, uh, you need to talk to that lady. get to a fight here. Uh, it's a battle that we can't win. We just want to kill ourselves off. If you just hit attack and hit uh, down, I'll select uh, yourself. And then once you're 6, six HP or less, the script will go off. Just get a bunch of text here. One nice thing about Rough Fire 2 is that it, it has a story, and while like story, who cares about it in RPG? But the, with slow text, you can at least read it and enjoy it. I do like the story a lot. So you just want to mash through and say right. Our sister will come back on the screen, and we want to tell her no, we don't want to close our eyes. If you say yes, uh, you see Barberry's eye, costs you about eight seconds. That's something I would reset over. Now we want to go back to the church. Talk to the father. In a lot of the older runs, see uh, that every run uh, we grab the tree pole, but that's no longer needed. And both going to give us a dialogue box, and we want to hit the second option. One thing I'll say about the dialogue boxes in this game is that since you get in the habit of holding B to scroll the text faster, if you were to tap B, in a, a dialog box, it'll select the other option, and I done that and ruined a, a run before, so that's something to be careful of. But if you're just holding B the whole time and you don't let go, uh, you won't have that issue. A lot 
lot of the beginning of the game, especially for Terrapin percent, the dungeons are straightforward. I would say for the majority of the game, they're not bad at all to learn. And game FAQs has uh, several maps. If need, you can get those. Bring it into another fight that we can't win. It's just best to defend. With the mighty flex. That concludes childhood. One downside of this game is there's hardly like, any breaks in the run. I, I hear a lot of runners complaining about uh, cutscenes, how they're kind of annoying. Uh, doing a seven hour run with, like, besides this one minute intro, uh, we get like two 20 second cutscenes where we don't have to match text. And it's like, you, you match a little bit of dialogue, get 20 seconds, and then you have to match a few more lines, and you get another 20 seconds. That's about three hours in the run. And about five and a half hours into it, you do get a, uh, another 30, 40 second break. The primary glitch in this game, Aubrey Brown, all revolves around the switch glitch. Uh, the switch glitch has been known for a long time. It was used to duplicate armor, uh, weapons, and to get as much money as you needed, which is normally about uh, 1.5 million. But a discovery was made by myself uh, last fall that resulted in a herb glitch, which bugged a herb onto a reserve party member and it had 64 attack power and the fire element. And this was uh, seen in the Breath of Fire Relay 2 race. And then a month after the relay, I found that we can change that item to nine different uh, options. Uh, the best being the Moon Drop which is a item that casts a full heal on the entire party and cures any status ailment. The Moon Drop, as a weapon, has a ability called Twin Attack, which there's only one weapon in the game that has it, and that's Bo's Twin Bow. It has 64 attack power and the Holy Element. In this game, uh, Spirit Bombs take half damage from anything that's not holy. So it helps a ton with that, and then nothing is resistant to holy. So it helps in twofold. So the first thing we want to do is grab the life pill on the shelf here. And we need Ryu to be in slot 2 for the money. I like to do that right off the get. We're going to sell the life pill, and then buy six urgent. You want to make sure you buy a stack of six. You don't want to buy them one at, one at a time. And then we're going to do the switch glitch. Switch glitch is going to switch. And picking, say, the steel armor. 
going to Ryu, and we're going to hit A and B at the same time, but a little bit of emphasis on the A. A slightly before B. So you get to a... I did it twice there. I got to the urchin screen, and then I got to this screen. If I wanted a bunch of money, I would keep hitting A and B at the same time, and that's how you get your 1.5 mil. But for this category, you just need to change out your weapon once. So by saying, may I trade it in, uh, this gives us 90,000 coins, and it puts the bug a uh, weapon on Sten, who's currently considered in uh, slot 6. So even though I only have two party members right now, the game considers Bull in slot 1, Ryu in slot 2, Cat in slot 3, Ran in 4, uh, Nina in 5, and Sten in 6. So that's explained more in more detail than my Herb video, Herb 9.0 glitch. So after doing that uh, switch glitch, we got the, all the money we need for this run. We want to switch out the weapons and buy two steel armors, two salvos, and three suede armors. And we want to go back to the item shop. Two sets so hers, antidote, two, four, and five. And again, these are in my notes. And the reason why we wanted to buy armor was so that we had junk armor to do a death four later. We want to equip the armor on uh, Ryu and Bow. And then with the inventory, I like to hit clean and then. Uh, put my smokes in the first slot. A uh, smoke reduces the encounter rate. You'll see the green monster icon there. Uh, he represents uh, the, the encounter rate. But when a uh, smoke is in effect, he is uh, color purple. Any fight you get into, you're going to be auto battling. Start the game off. You can heal as much as you want to, and then if you find out that you shouldn't have an issue with the amount of herbs that I uh, bought. But do whatever amount is comfortable for you. But ultimately, you want to wait until you reach the next smoke tile. The smoke lasts for uh, 64 steps. I just happen to know that on this tile, the, I can use another sm smoke, so I heal up and use a smoke. In the guide, I mentioned that if you happen to run into two spiders at level 1, you might want to try for a shot with bow. And that time it worked. I mentioned that it doesn't have a horrible chance to land, but once your characters are not level 1, which Bow still was, uh, it's worth giving a shot a chance, especially when you got two spiders like that. But by the time they're both level 2, it's not bad to just auto them. Corpse will always slam, and his other ability is simply the miss. But with both the boys at level 2, the fight's easy. Ryu, Ryu got level 3. You can do harpies with uh, both characters at level 1. Just kinda need to watch uh, Ryu's HP. Bo will normally uh, just be level 2. If he's level 3, uh, you just get some more damage out of him, which is nice. Right now I'm in the normal party formation, but with two party members, uh, both characters are in a zero state. 
So they do 100% uh, damage and take the same amount of damage. So kind of an even. Uh, on this middle tile here, it's one tile away from the harpy fight. So we want to heal up and use the smoke. We're gonna use the scramble formation to uh, do this fight. Scramble with two characters is gonna put the character in slot one, which is Bo, in a plus two state, and Ryu in a negative two state. So Bo's gonna do more offense, but take more damage, and Ryu's gonna do uh, less damage, but take less damage. And these harpies are always going to attack Ryu. I'll just attack both. The harpies will do anywhere between 9 and 12 damage, and they'll always attack each other on the second turn. But after that, they'll just keep attacking Ryu, and that harpy's going to die. And this is where I was kind of hinting at. A level 3 bow is rare, but it is nice for the extra damage, because normally he's doing about 10 or 12. So the pack 2 harpies have uh, 40 health and the front has 90. Pretty much auto from here. Normally you can go by without healing Ryu. But if you got here at like level 1 or 2, you might need one heal. Or if you had some bad rolls. You don't have to bother healing right there. Uh, and sorry if you're using smokes correctly. To worry about Ryu dying. Our defense and offense much higher now. Up for Gon, Gon heads, I should say. Uh, we just want to attack with Bo and defend with Ryu. Again, Bo is in a higher state when we're in scramble for offense. And I didn't mention this with uh, Bush and Gate. A lot of doors you have to hold A to kind of press through it. That rock is uh, another example of that. We want to grab this fire rock. As much as you would want to use this fire rock on Cat, Bubba, August. Uh, avoid it. Save it for Joker Cave. We get into a fight uh, with a spider and three leeches. We want Bo to attack the spider. Again, Ryu can't one-shot him. And after that we can auto. So you can get through here with hardly any encounters, and then you can have runs where you get into a bunch of fights. Your odds of running away are extremely poor in this game, so we take on any random battle. If you get the lead off, take the lead off and, and run away. The trade-off for the extra battles is that Ryu can hit level 6, hopefully before you go towards Corsair, but if you get it after the Roach battle that's coming up, that's really nice. Uh, because Ryu would be coming back here by himself, and if he's level 5, he won't one shot the Gons. Gon heads.
fall down the hole. Then I like it to make it uh, my last heal right here. Pop the characters off. And I won't heal them until they uh, get all the way to the roach. We're going to be doing a death warp after this battle. Note, I didn't save my game. Uh, I'll only be saving the game once. If you happen to die at any time, you'll just respawn. And you won't have any progress left. But for the pest fight, these have 10 HP each. I just like to switch to normal formation, which just don't buy a hit. Holding L1 can switch. You can pick your formation normal, and then auto. I the only scenario where you want to heal is if uh, Ryu gets close to death. Definitely want him to get XP from this fight and the Roach fight. If Bo dies on the Roach fight, it's whatever. Bo's not used in the speedrun, other than when he's required. It's just at the beginning of the game and very briefly for uh, the middle part. I like to go back to scramble and Ryu's gonna do less damage but take less and the penalty is not as harsh when you're in a negative state like a negative one state you're doing 5% less offense but you're taking 10% less defense so it's quite not the same curve as when you're in a plus state that fight went extremely well and there we got uh, Ryu level 6 So a lot of my menus I've been trying to do a little bit slower. I know trying to watch like other people and learn from their runs. They would menu so fast that I couldn't really comprehend what was going on. But they get a 22 roach there is really good. And I got level 6. Where sometimes like on a run, uh, I get the roach done and I'm... The run's at 19 minutes. But Ryu like is barely in the level 5. Put our junk armor on. And we can stay in that scramble formation. I'm gonna have bow attack Ryu once. Ryu, Ryu attack himself. Careful with Ryu because you don't, yeah, you can counter attack. It's really bad when you only have like one enemy and uh, you end up ending the battle and then you need to get to uh, another fight to your death war. We end up back in hometown. We lost half our money, but again, progress maintained. And then we're going to want to turn in the pig. One of the best things about doing this category is that if you like it, the game gets much easier. Uh, Joker's the second to the last boss. The run probably would have only went up to him, as Terrapin is a pain. 
but the moon drop, drop makes him a chump. So you get a nice taste of the moon drop, and the moon drop basically puts the run into a uh, bubble wrap. We just want to say yes, we want to go back to the room. We'll see that during the chair panel, why the, why the moon drop just makes the run very forgiving. Uh, I think it's much easier for uh, new runners to get into the, the game. Uh, between the herb glitch, which was like the first stage of finding a bug weapon, and then the moon drop, uh, my run immediately dropped. 40 minutes and it was just a little over a year ago that sub 8 was hit and 10 months ago Almagus had his unbelievable 709 run before the uh, herb glitch was discovered and now with the herb slash moon drop uh, Emkin at this time has a world record with the 635 and I have a 651. And El Magus gameplay is much better, so his 709 is just crazy. The uh, moon drop. But that's just to show you uh, how much the glitch really helped uh, lower the time. So we want to talk to Kilgore there. And we're gonna go back to our room. And we wanna tell oh second option. Oh. Saves a few lines. So that tear glow there, uh it doesn't do much. Actually you don't have to worry about it at all for the speed run. But that's the Dragon's Tear. It... Story-wise, it tears into one's heart and sees like their emotion towards you. So when it's like a dark color, that's negative. And then when it's glowing a rainbow hue, or changing colors, uh, it's a max mood. Saying, uh, no, that... There's a few uh, text boxes, but it's not critical to say it. There are a few critical boxes in the game, but uh, none in the Terrapin percent. Story-wise, oh, our dog tried to steal, got caught. You know, he wasn't really stealing. And now we have to take him back to, uh, township where the old man was in the ruins. try to leave town. We can say whatever option we want, but crash is good. Here we want to re-equip that armor. By the way, uh, bigger is your speed, so the suede armor weighs more, so it, it lowers your speed. So we, we want the defense. And then we're going to use uh, smoke. This we can out, and since we're level six, we'll one shot the gun, gun head. Got counter tactics. Good. And then when you're by yourself, you're just in a zero state. You're doing the same amount of offense. You have the same defense rating.
this fight's bad again to too, just because it takes a while for all these goblins to do their attack. Most of them are gonna run away, worth for amount of XP. Not that we ever really need to grind for XP. I'm trying to run away is just again not worth it. And we got three of them stick around. I'm gonna at least hope they get a counter tag or something. Again, heal whenever you feel uh, comfortable with. I'm just kind of used to what thresholds they can be at. And I wait for uh, to be at a tile where I want to reapply smoke to be optimal. And if I didn't mention before, unlike Prep Player 1, you can't reapply the smoke until one wears off. If you're in town, it won't uh, decrease the smoke step counter. But if you're on the world map, and if you uh, fly with the bird or use the whale, which we don't get in this category, I will use up the smoke tiles. The bow is going to hide out here, and in this category we're never going to see him again. And even in the full run, we don't see him much. Actually, I do like bow. Again, no need to save the game. Good music, short-lived. Actually, at the 23 health, it wouldn't have been a bad idea for me to heal. Just because these things can do such random damage. Too bad I could have had all four of them doing four on me. And if uh, you've been doing smoke uh, tiles, anywhere close to what I've been doing are exactly the same. By the time you get here, the smoke uh, will wear off. But we want to get in a fight before the bridge. As soon as we cross it, we'll be in a new set of enemies. And uh, you have a good chance to wipe to them. Even though we got the best armor from hometown. Usually getting anywhere between two and three battles. So this fight's unwinnable. So even though running away is you got horrible odds, you just gotta go for it. And then if I die, no big deal. You can just pick up the run and uh keep going. Sweet breath can put you to sleep. What makes these things nice. I guess the lighting. They're current lovely. Because you can't kill these. <laughs> Unless you get put to sleep. I'm normally level 5, and I'm always trying to run away from that to get a better time. 
But at least I get to show you. Uh, and that's the text going slow because I was on home B, I was talking. I did that on purpose so I can show you how to recover from such an event. Yeah, that's it. Oh, this works out good. So the smoke's still in effect. I would say even if that smoke wore out, you're pretty much just going to want it to be... Um, cashed out. And I would just refresh it at the bridge. These enemies pose no threat to us. Be rather... Uh, be able to make a good chance to Corsair with the fresh smoke there. We don't have to reapply it. And it keeps uh, smoke uh, use consistent. Instead of uh, having different tiles, we reapply it at the same place. Uh, I know the next location to use it at. The level 5, I know you definitely want to heal after killing one of these. A little six, uh, big deal. But the three fly fight is winnable even at the level six. When these things put you to sleep, that's a nightmare. And that's another reason why I said just try to run away. Very so good. Double crit, wow. We made to Corsair. First thing we're gonna do is go to the armor shop. I mentioned in the notes a alternative method for the uh, to do the glitch weapon. The urchin is not in my it's not in my default cursor right now. So if I tried to do the glitch, what's gonna happen is that this simply won't work. I just want to pick any piece of armor that Ryu can use. And hit A, and then hit A and B at the same time, but a little bit more insists on A. So, I got it, but it's defaulting to the default cursor spot. And when you go up and down, it's actually just toggling the other armor on the vendor. So you can either do one of two things. You can move the urchin, and then have it so your default cursor is on the item. I'll show you the other way. Put a sell the item and just say no. As long as you don't back out all the way out of the inventory, you can get, uh, they'll keep the cursor in that position. And then as we hit A, we see the tree staff. This is just some random item on the other character. But again, when you start off at the beginning of the game, when Ryu's in slot 1, uh, Nina's considered in slot 5 right now. So this is kind of like, uh, you don't, she doesn't have a tree staff, and Sten didn't have a nature whip on him, but for whatever reason, the game programmed it that way. And that's how you get the 90,000. But once you say, yes, trade it in, uh, you can't, uh, get the nature wood back, gone, or back, it's gone forever. We're just gonna wanna say, yes, trade in. Now, this doesn't, this part's not needed in this category, but I do wanna show you that if you hit left and right, the number will change. So four is vanilla extract, S64 attack power, twin attack, and holy attack. Just like the moon drop. And we do get that, but not in this run. But in case you ever hit left or right, or if you didn't buy 6 Urchin, you can use left and right to uh, get the correct value. Alright, so for armor we want to switch out for Ryu. We get the Ranger Cloak. 
Bronze Helmet. Then we buy a Hexstaff, Leotard, Salpole, two Bronze Helmets, two Steel Arms. You can either trash the herbs or uh, throw them away. Then we're gonna buy health yells, which restore 100 HP by 27 levels, or just three stacks. That's it. And it's daytime. Uh, we need it to be nighttime for Ran. One thing is, if you get into a battle like I did close to Corsair, you can try to yellow and make it in without healing. And then when you talk to this guy, he'll say that people gather here at night and would you like, oh, there's an example of me hitting the other option. I miss clicking. We get a full heal. And we talk to Ran. We are looking for the thief, and we get a tip that there's some girl in the big fight. But Bubba is always the fighter, so we gotta go take down Bubba and enter Asm. So here, we want to go to the church, and yes, you may save your game here. And you want to do that, because we're going to be death warping back to here. to clean my inventory. Uh, clean your inventory and rearrange it, cover what you want, find your own method. Find your way. The lead off. Lead off, take the lead off. Tagwoods and there's uh, maps on game FAQs. I haven't routed this out because I'm used to any percent getting the gold drop from here, but we don't have to do that for this category. I'm going to go down to the left to get a gold piece, piece for fishing. So we're just moving on. I'd say that more than likely the not worth using another smoke. Great lead off. Yeah, so you're good without reapplying one. Even if it was here, I would not do it because you're going to want to get into an encounter raid after Bubba. The death war. So this fight's probably the second most scariest. Just because the bugbears, if they hit, they're slamming. You're pretty much gonna just want to heal. The worst is a plant in the bugbear. Because if the plant puts you asleep, the only thing that's gonna wake you up is being attacked. You won't randomly wake up in this game. The harpies always have enough AP to do two casts of cure one. Actually, attack.
Be safe all of you. I was going for PBs, I would not be healing. It's hard to find that good balance of what the show to be optimal, but not like too aggressive. And at this point you can be like, why are you trying to run away? That's just kind of the nature of the, the run where it goes. And that's where I said, like, at the beginning, if you want to kill, uh, go for it. The bugbear takes three hits, the harpy takes two. If you get a crit on the harpy, uh, go one shot it. But at this point, I'll do it just to show it. We already seen a cure once. She's gonna cure one more time after that. So we're definitely better off healing here. Oh, she didn't heal. Surprising. The bugbear outspeeds you, so. That's best just to uh, preemptively heal. Anytime you want to cancel out of auto auto, just hit a B. Sure, we go in this bed of full health. Baba can counterattack, being crit. His damage can be a little bit random. For safety, I say heal at 28. But uh, as you get more comfortable, you can risk a little bit more. But so the 14 was a high roll there. Nasty high rolls there, and again, if he counters, uh, cause issues. But generally speaking, if you're on the heal at 28 and less HP, you'll do just fine on this fight. But if you got a calculator or if you're good at counting, you definitely want to be doing that so you can hopefully not die. That's right. Do that for the sake of learning. So should you die, and if you're low on healing items, you're more than welcome to uh, get more. So I know I normally use this smoke right here. So to keep myself on track, I'm going to do that. Thank you. 
Really, that bubble f that shouldn't have happened. But I'm kind of I'm glad it happened because it shows how the counter attack can screw you over. This the beginning of the fight went really well. Money's not going to matter, uh, it's actually all going to be taken away from us in a little bit. But we're going to do another glitch weapon, that's going to give us uh, more money. The trees, they can cast spark that does between 30 and 39 damage, and there we go. But they only have enough AP to cast a wand, and actually the majority of the time they don't do it, but you're at uh they take five hits to kill not crits so if you're nervous to die i would say heal up at 40 health I'll wear it this way. I normally don't bother healing up on the, the tree, but if he does do spark like he did that time, I I would do it. Right. Round two. Then he does the rare slam on top of the counter. I was sent for a truck. He's out for vengeance. Kinda glad that I've been overhealing. I've been trying to think how someone like new to the run would act. I'm gonna add in a stack of uh healthy else. Oh yeah, downgrade our equipment and we're gonna get in the battle and kill ourselves.
So next we have to talk to Ram, but like I said, I'm gonna buy another stack of Puffy Elves. Really, three should be more than enough. The dust and everything. But it's already nighttime. Since we death warp, we're actually at full health. We need to talk to Ram first. And now we're allowed to enter the Coliseum. We can enter at night. Enter the right side. I mentioned left door, but really there's only one door here. More or less referring to uh, the left door in here. Unfortunately, I got level 7. Normally, you're only level 6, so this fight's gonna go easier. At level 6, it's gonna take 5 non crit hits to kill. And chances are you're gonna heal at least once. Hobby, education, talent. to meet the Shady August. He mentions that he's going to use a poison needle. So if you want to, uh, if you're nervous about remembering to push Cat out of the way, you can go save at the church again. It is okay to save at the church right now. That way you don't have to do the HR director in August. If you died to Cat, you don't have to worry about saving at church because you're just going to respawn there anyway. You want to go through this door. You want to make sure that you're uh, at full health. So I always like to do that immediately after the HR director, just so I remember. You don't want to go into the cat fight. I have max health. You can ignore the chest there. And then, once the guard leaves, just press A on the door. Man's gonna come in here. It's gonna take all our money. In the any percent run, it's critical to make sure you deposit your money because you're glitching 1.5 million uh, zenny. But in this run, uh, we don't need to bank any money. I mentioned earlier that Sten had the nature whip on his like accessory thing, just a weird thing that you never see. Rand also has one, so when we get to Windia, we're gonna bug the Moondrop on him. And that's also gonna give us, uh, not 90,000, but 65,000 coins. And that chest right there has a thousand zenny. I need it. August says, as we play him, shoot the needle. He doesn't care who it hits. But after the battle of Cat, you want to make sure you hold up and you'll push her out of the way of the poison needles. Otherwise, she's not in the next fight against August. And it's a really tough fight, especially without her. That's where I said you might want to save the game 
in case you forget to push her out of the way and you want to do a reset. Now Cat is super powerful. She has a high crit rate. And uh, you just gotta be careful. So if you don't feel comfortable using auto, uh, always hit B to back out. You can just attack once at a time. So she can taunt. And if it works, you'll lose all your strength. So that time it failed. So we'll get a full hit in. She can crit me and do a high roll and get uh, 32 damage. That's where anywhere between 40 and 44 HP is a good safety net. But at the same time, cat can be cat and crit you twice in a row and do more than 55 damage. So do the high roll there. But she could have easily did another slam and it would have been ripped. And I like to hold B, mash A, and hold up. Hold up, hold B, keep mashing A, push right away. Like, as soon as that battle ends, like, I wouldn't even worry about your split the first time. I actually hit it before acknowledging the XP. And again, if we don't save her, she's in bed, recovering. So we bought the equipment for Cat earlier. Got a staff for her. All our goodies. Now we're gonna fight August. You can save at the church and it's fine, um, but if you die here, you're just going to end up respawning at the church anyway, with the pro progress intact, so you're fine. The only reason I even throw it out there to save is if you're nervous about pushing Cat out of the way. I'll just keep being into your head. We're going to do a scramble formation. That's going to put Ryu and Cat in a plus two state and Ran in a negative two state. Uh, the old way of doing this was attack with Ryu and Cat, notice that Ryu used Bubba, and have Ran cast Cure 1 on Ryu every turn. That's why I wrote into the notes. Ryu is level 8, uh, but with the extra defense, because normally you're doing this at level 7, can help play a bit. I, w I wish I was level 7 kind of show. But, um, so that's one way to do it, because the odds of being attacked on your party members are based on the order you're in your party. So the front character is most likely to be attacked, second is second most likely, and then third and so on. Uh, so Ryu's going to be taking the majority of hits. 
one thing you can do is auto and then I hit cancel right away. Or you can make all three attack. So August saves strength on that turn. And he actually attacked Ran. So this turn I actually can heal Ran instead of waiting for the heal animation go off on uh, Ryu. I just get to heal Ran. And I could also use a help heal. But basically, uh, you attack with uh, everyone using this strat. And if you need to revive, like in this case, you use a life pill. Or say Ryu was at 20 health, and I was going, going into this round of combat, I know that more than likely he would die. But would preemptively use a life pill. Those are kind of more advanced strats. So if it's easier to do, just stick with the uh, attack, attack, cure one, or uh, use a help EL. We saw August save strength a few times, and then he did a crit his next turn. If he saves strength on the second action, uh, his next turn, both attacks are going to be crits. That's another thing to keep in mind. But at this point, Cat and Ram, we couldn't get him the, the moon drop glitch. Again, they're in slot 3 and 4. And we only can affect characters uh, 5 through 8. That's outlined better in my uh, moon drop video. So I hit L1 to switch the party. I hit an R1 would make Ryu go in the front. And then L1 takes the back character and puts them in the front. That's something you'll get used to. Rant's field ability allows him to uh, roll. Uh, while rolling, you won't get into any fights, but when you bonk, you have a 50% chance to get into a fight. So it takes a lot of practice. I still mess it up. Like there. Ideally, you end up right next to the mountain. And put the bronze helmet on Ran. Actually, we're not even using Ran. You don't even have to get it. That's just something from any percent. They didn't even take out. But we need to head back to Township. I forgot to use the smoke back there. And I mentioned that just in case anyone's uh, using this as notes or uh, when they use the I want you writing down the wrong thing. I'll point it out where I should have used it. Oh, now it's just Ryu and Cat, and we get a free heal. Uh, that smoke I should have used when I was on the tile that we're using on right now, and then heading to uh, the 
the ruins, aka Township. Smoke would still be in effect. I'll just use the next step. Hometown. See something going down at the magic school. Again, you don't want to save the game. Uh, for whatever reason, the church doesn't mess up the save file. At various parts of the game, it will temporarily set your respawn point at a particular dragon statue, or in this case, a church. But when I went back to Township, it set my respawn point at Township. So if I was to die now, I would go to Township. That's used for a death warp, like right after the battle with Terrapin. And while uh, you don't need it for Terrapin, I, I'm trying to keep this so that uh, bad muscle memory is not developed. I noticed that like it's Earthbound's uh, boogie 10%. Uh, you kind of learn some bad strats that you wouldn't use on any percent in this run. Uh, we're basically just not getting the 1.5 million zenny and not buying a few extra healing items in a fishing pole. Put you smoke there and then it'll be good. Notice that the game put cat in the lead. In my inventory, or my menu, uh, she's still in the second slot, but the game put her in the ahead of Ryu. And that's gonna come into play in Joker Cave. So at any point, you can uh, hit L, L1 or R1 to switch her back. Normally wait till I'm in the cave, but sometimes it's just nice to do things early so you don't forget them. Quite a few encounters. Quite a few lead us. Especially there, I just get out of one. There's no random encounters in this particular room. Anything is to watch out for Cat. Again, she is a e glass cannon. Be able to get by this fight with Otto. And we're just gonna go straight. And again, even though uh, Ryu's being pretty tanky, want to top him off. Uh, so I, I hesitated there because I, I was holding B and I just wanted to show that uh, holding B won't like select the option. And when you come through here, you need to talk to this guy first. It says that the switch is in the hole, right? This is where you want Ryu to be in the lead and uh, have his HP topped off because he's going to take damage and get poison here. And you just don't want the cat to... Enter this battle with the extra damage. But again, if you're not comfortable with the auto, 
uh, go ahead to do out of stance once you become more comfortable. If the cat takes damage one more time, I'm definitely gonna wanna cancel out the fight and then have her heal. She outspeeds the spider. The spider's got 200 health. Again, no random encounters, but as soon as I go down these stairs, there will be some. So I to get right next to it. Heal up. Here's a smoke. There is random encounters in this room and the next. Uh, there's the spirit enemies that take a lot of damage right here. I'm glad I got it. This fight sucks. This attack, I'm find out why. This is why the moon drop is so nice. It, it hits hard. These things got power down, they're taking half health from anything that's not holy. So, I got away with one run. Sometimes you're sitting there five or six times, but they're not really gonna do much damage. You might sit there and do power down, but that fight's just a long fight. Once we have Nina, uh, she'll have the moon drop. We'll smack around. The majority of times you'll get through there without uh, any issue with no uh, encounters. You can auto uh, any other battle. If you happen to get five leeches, that's a really bad encounter. Might have to do some healing. After the hood, uh, we get some story here, and then uh, we're gonna get into a mini boss battle with four hoods. They have a high chance of respawn if uh, one of them dies, and it can happen every round. So even though we would love to use the fire rock for cat, it's not worth it. Uh, use it here. And we'll get a free heal after that. So Mina, the girl we see that's the beginning of the game, is Nina's sister. Being held as a hostage. We don't have to worry about healing up because that's gonna outspeed the hoods. Heal there, boys. This defend on Rio. Fire Rock. Uh, Fire Rock is a ball you get later on in the game called Fireball. Actually, Cat gets it quite early, but he just never has the AP to cast spells. Joker is an easy fight, even, uh, and yes, there is a glitchless category for this game. I, I run it. It says, uh, not a runner by the name Charles. Uh, the Joker is an easy fight. It's like the first time you can breathe at ease. So, I mentioned staying in uh, normal formation um, in the guide. This is kind of where it's up if I go with uh, more aggressive strats or normal strats. I mentioned the defend on Cat and Ryu and just attack with Nina. But really, you can just get by with defend and with Ryu, attack with Cat. For the first round, we see the moon drop on Nina. But its attack power hasn't been updated. If you equip any piece of equipment, like he has the bum skulls, bandana, and wristband, you could equip that same piece of armor and it would update the attack value. But I like to buy her a steel armor to give her a little bit more defense, so it's gonna go from one to three. 
and now the the moon drops attack value is updated and we will attack and the reason why it's nice to attack with cat is that since Joker has 580 health if we don't get a crit with Nina uh, that point of damage over the rounds will help uh, in the battle a little bit quicker But no matter what, you want Nina to attack every round. So if he does a poison chop, which I'm glad he's doing. You can have Ryu heal Nina. Go ahead and have Cat heal herself and attack. And again, you have abundant amount of light pills. If you're finding that you're going through them, just buy more than what I say. So we got a. We didn't crit on the first hit, but the second hit crit. Uh, that's one interesting thing about twin attack. If you crit the first hit, the second hit will always crit. But the game does a roll. To see if you crit the uh, if you don't get a crit the first time. So it's weird, but it works in our favor. So I won't argue. We get plot. I'm gonna be offering Nina that help escort her and her sister back to Windia. If you're poisoned or anything like that, you can wait. Uh, there's no encounters in this room. You won't die uh, on the world map or in any dungeon map when you're poisoned. You'll just be at 1 HP. In this room you can get encounters, so I like to heal up here. And the antidote if needed. Use the smoke. Then we have no fights from here on out. And if you did get in a fight, just auto it. Basement. If you get those two spirit mobs, let's just say defend with Ryu and Cat. Let Hina kill it. Here, we're gonna use another smoke. Now Nina is even more, I mean she's a caster so she's not even meant to be mealing like she is, but she is. It's not worth having her in the second or first slot where she would do more damage. Just dies way too easy. And she's not losing that much um, offense from being in negative two state, right now anyway. Like on that Joker fight, she was doing, I think, whoops, but you're the right position. I just rerouted the smoke for the any percent, so they're different from the notes I have in uh, the guide for this. Trying to help you guys out. But once you get... Because if it's two or one step away, I think it's one step away from the sign. Use a smoke.
That's the other thing is like that would have killed Dina. By having her in a third slot and doing extra damage. Makes it hey okay. Just when we get a double crit. Yep, that was done, right? We won't see it in the Terrapin percent, but after that we get the moon drop for a cat. First time she leaves our party. We're about to get one for Ran. For this category, uh, you don't need it, but I get a Bowie vanilla extract. You can do something for Jean and Spark if you want to. But the maze is straightforward. Got some twists and turns here, but not hard to remember. Go right. You can go right and you'll end up uh, go all the way to the end of the hall and you'll end up at the door right there. But this way is a little bit faster. And run's just about done. I swear, it'd just be nice if it automatically scroll the text for you, but it doesn't. And again, do not save at the dragon statue there. To be honest with you, it, it doesn't matter for this category, but it's not needed. Uh, pen's free. I do have to apologize. I was I was uh, writing the notes, updating from my any percent, and cutting out some stuff. And it took me like three hours, but I wanted to get this stream done so I can get this video out. Of the information that I've been conveying, uh, it's also written uh, in my uh, guide notes. So again, we want to do the glitch, get the, the moon drop on uh, Ram. So you can either 
move the urchin to the first slot like I showed you earlier, or do the cell trick. And you want to make sure you don't, because you don't want to get rid of the moon drop. So make sure you never do it with someone like Anina. I have to pick someone like for you. And uh, that's. I'm, I'm messing up on purpose to show you what can happen. You can kind of back out. So if that happens, just get back to this menu, hit the AB. You see the urchins click there, or selected. I hit A. The nature what comes in at 6500, and I say yes. But I just put a moon drop on ran. Um, and that gave us 6,700 points. But we want to switch out Ryu's sword. Uh, Chainmail. I mentioned the ranger clothes on uh, my guide. If you want to keep them, um, if Ryu's level 10 for a Terrapin, with the ranger's clothes, he'll outspeed them. Only at level 10. Or you can switch out Chainmail. And uh, not bother with that. And that's why I do. It's, it's like never level 10 for me anymore. Uh, Salvo, you can either put the glass RG on Sten. Or if you bought the bronze shield from Corsair, which I have in the notes, it does give them one more defense. So that's really not even worth it. And we see that Sten's off its 99, since he updated uh, his armor, the offense of the Moondrop updated. Oh, so if you wanted to get, um, this would be uh, an any percent run, but by moving Ryu to slot 2, it can affect whoever's in slot 5. And uh, I know at this particular part of the game, that's Bo. Oh, while I'm here, I do want to show off uh, other two glitches in the run. They, you wouldn't use in Terrapin percent, but I want to show you that they exist. And that's armor duplication. The way this works is just like the other switch glitches. Uh, so let's say I want to duplicate the bombs close. Uh, again, I'm just getting it as my default cursor. I can do the cell method, or I'll show you the other method. You know, I explained it several times. Just moving the slot one is not good enough. I'll show you why. Oh, actually it was. If the bumps close wasn't a default item, just go back to your cursor. Just kind of do that and get out. So whatever item, in this particular case, the bump close, if you do the switch glitch, like, Ryu can use this sword. Uh, actually, no, that, that's a bad example. Sorry. The bunk clothes, like, multiple people can use. So you want to pick, uh, like, this glass RG. So if I wanted the bunk clothes for everyone, I can now... Instead of doing, uh, the glass RG that was on, it duplicated the bunk clothes. There's a few pieces of armor in the run, the socket armor and the wind robe that we do that glitch. And you can do the same thing for the uh, weapons. A tree staff. So it's not something that Rio can use. So whoever can use that tree staff has the option, but it doesn't give me full reign like if I did it on, say, the chainmail that Sten can wear, it doesn't mean I, oops, it doesn't mean I can put the tree staff on him. So, 
there's a tree staff. Anyway. Sorry, going off topic, but I just wanted to show the other two glitches so you uh, would be more familiar with them. Anyway, no need to do all that. Uh, just get the initial switch glitch on Ryu on slot one. And then uh, the chain mail for the, uh, your characters. New sword for Ryu. Uh, bronze shield. It's on the notes. So here on this menu, we want to order. You can hit auto. And then the switch. I like to have Ryu, Sten, Cat, Nina. Or Nina Cat. I'll even clean my inventory. Use the smoke. So right now, we have four different options. Most of the time, for this run, you're pretty much going to be in normal or scramble, even with uh, this party. Defense, um, all your characters are in like a negative state except for the lead. I won't get into details, but just be in scramble. And scramble with four party members. Uh, character once in a plus one state, character two is in a plus one, character three is in a zero state, and then the last character is in a negative one state. It's the highest offense formation you can be in. Again, heal as much as you want to feel comfortable. And Sen has a higher strength than Nina, so do more damage. Once we get to town, I could have just healed all the same on the world map. You just want to go down the well here? You do want to make sure you're full health. These things are pretty nasty. Uh, they double attack and have a uh, pretty bit of attack power. But thanks to the power of the moon drop, they normally get one rounded. Where you're not it is a little bit maze like, but uh, you know, being pretty straightforward. Ray's gonna take care of that one. A normal run, I feel comfortable not healing with Ryu, but I'll do it uh, to show that it's fine to be safe. You just go straight forward, there's no other pass. And then you're gonna hop on these turtles. A mesh and A. I don't think it's needed. Sometimes this uh, waiter will uh, block you from getting on that island.
Wanna talk to the little boy? If you're quick and make sure you hold B, you can get on that turtle by holding down. Well, it doesn't matter for Terrapin. So, so Terrapin, we want to stay in scramble. Here's what makes Terrapin so nasty. He has a few breath attacks that hit everyone. And at this point in the game, you don't have A healing items. Actually, A healing items are rare. And he has 1300 health. Way more than anything you're going to encounter anytime soon. Even with dragon powers. But we can just auto the first round. Again, not comfortable with the auto. But he did single attack. So he hit Sten. Cat and Sten will always outspeed Terrapin. So I always wanted to make sure Sten is topped off. So I'm going to attack with... Uh, you, Sten, Nina, and I'm gonna have Cat heal Sten. So here's uh, AE attack. So there's two ways you can go, go about this. Uh, for me, I would just um, attack, attack, and do a help BL on Sten. And then once Sten took more damage, I would do uh, a moon drop. And you can get to that by just hitting up on your inventory. But to be as you're getting used to the run, you're probably going to want to be a little bit more conservative, so we'll just do it with the moon drop with Sten and attack with everyone else. If we get a chance to, uh, before killing them, I'll show it the other way. So someone's pretty much dead. It's Sten and Dina are trucks right now. Attack, attack, and then we'll just do a light build this then. We could use the moon drop with Nina, but she goes second. And uh, Hairpin could have done something like brainwave controlled her and killed herself. It's just not worth it. Terrapin sissy can die. Uh, in uh in the timer. I'm gonna go a little bit farther just to kinda show you if full run ever interests you. What we kinda do from here. Gonna ask about saving the villagers. Will we just tell them, yeah, we saved them. And I want to show you why the the saving is so important. Not for Terrapin, but just in general. So Ray wants to teach us a spell. Uh, our reward's gonna be Cure Two. Give that to Nina. He wants to meet us at Township. So as I was mentioning earlier, our default default spawning point is Township. So 
we're gonna end up death warping the township and then um, we end up running back to captain and then uh, basically the game has you going back and forth like three four times and, and no one's got time for that attack will attack the enemy if uh, one of your comrades should die. We end up back at Township. But it's not rebuilt. We can change our party. What we end up doing is taking Nina, Sten, Ram. We want to leave Cat out. The cat's now in slot 5. So we can get our moon drop. Basically, we will walk back to course, or roll our way back to Corsair, walk through the mountains, um, get her a moon drop, and then we run all the way back to Captain. Uh, the shaman event happens and then uh, you talk to a gentleman and captain and he s says your friends looked angry and looked like they walked home so he teleports you back to here at township well when you're in captain with solo Ryu doing the dragon event the game sets your temporary respawn point at captain when you come back here and do a, a death warp end up back at captain so instead of going back and forth three times we only have to do it once and then, uh, that's why the saves are important I was nailing it down uh, I thank you for watching this video I hope it was important I was kind of ranty I uh, want to be informative 145 um, and I made Silly mistakes and was going slow to kind of help uh, show some variables that from run to run you just run into. But yeah, after you get past Cat in particular, the run's much easier. And uh, for any percent, the run is a lot of fun. Uh, with the moon drop, like the next uh, third of the game, up to semaphore it is. A lot of melee damage, it's fun. And then when you get uh, Blue, she's an optional character, level 35, comes to your party, she has um, high level spells. Uh, you're casting quite a bit of spells, but still doing melee damage with your characters. Like, like, let me show you Rand. So Rand's offense is 38, his strength is 33. As soon as I equip your piece of armor, his tech goes up. Ran is actually the god slayer in this run. Because he has the high strength towards the end of the game, he's just the powerhouse. So in the beginning, you're tackling encounters, which is melee. 
then you get quite a bit of spell casting by doing a little melee. And then the last third is a nice mix of melee, spell casting. It's not just a spam of dragons, because if you know anything about this game, uh, your dragon spells are... They cost all your AP to cast them, so it's quite annoying. You have, always have to refill your AP. So you get a nice diversity of gameplay. And the routing out of uh, random encounters is another interesting aspect. So that's my pitch for Breath of Fire 2. Uh, we got a glitchless category. There's notes on that. There's two different routes. I have one where I do a gold bar cooking route to get extra money. And Charles, aka Zujin, he does uh, a run where he just finds the items as he goes, so that's quite interesting. And the any percent a good ending has come a long way. Is that uh, it was just a year ago that it's update and that was considered crazy and now we're at 635. And I welcome you all to join the Breathfire Discord or any of the Breathfire games to speed run. And I, I really hope to see uh Hairpin uh, be ran as like a tournament event. Uh, like the Kepka at Narish or uh Earthbound uh, Boogie 10. So thank you all. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message. Uh, my routing notes are on uh, speedrun.com, Fire 2 game. And I hope to see uh, a bunch of Terrapin runs. Have a good one. Bye!